This is the hand dynamometer. Uh, it measures grip strength. It's used in our physiology manual. Um, and so the, the way it operates is it's, it's, a, it's a force sensor. This part of the sensor is used with my hand so I could squeeze this and measure the force that way. Uh, this upper portion is a finger strength area and so I can squeeze this maybe in turn with different fingers and measure the individual strength of each finger. Um, and uh, so you know, doctors use devices like this uh, for somebody who maybe has had hand surgery. They would like to be able to quantify grip strength when they do that. So let's use it to collect a little data. So uh, I'm going to plug it into my lab quest. And when we do this, uh, we end up with the um, meter screen there and it's a um, showing me that I have force on the screen there. Now you'll notice right now that it's reading some value there that's that's not uh, not zero. And part of that's because of the orientation of this, um, how I've been using it, I squeezed it before. Uh, so one of the things that's often done with this particular sensor is that you might zero the sensor before you begin collection. And uh, so you could hold it in the orientation you're going to be using it, zero the sensor, and then start from your data collection from that point. Uh, so I'm going to do that. So I'll come in here, tap on the, uh, the meter there, and I will zero it. So now it's giving me a reading uh, close to zero. Uh, I'm going to use the default settings for the device. It's a 60 second collection there. So if we look, we'll see we've got the time base 10 samples per second uh, for 60 seconds uh, for collection. And I'm going to uh, do one of the labs where I will squeeze this as hard as I can for the 60 seconds. And we look at what happens to my strength as I, my muscles fatigue. So uh, what I want to do is squeeze it first as hard as I can. I'm going to hit collect and I'm going to continue to squeeze as hard as I can for the 60 seconds. Uh, yeah, you'll notice that uh, I'm beginning to kind of weaken a little bit. Um, the, it's, it's, it's hard, but you, what, what's happening is my muscles are fatiguing, and that's really the point of this lab. Uh, what I would like to be able to do is to go and analyze uh, the data at the beginning of the run, maybe compare it to the end of the run, and see what happens to my uh, muscle strength when we do that. So we'll let it go along here and uh, continue collection. collection is complete and uh, we see the the data there um, and if we notice that uh, it starts a little higher up here and of course it goes down here now it's a little bumpy because as you're sitting there squeezing uh, you know sometimes you've, you've ever experienced that where you're squeezing as hard as you can yeah, you, you 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 may start to shake a little bit um, but let's take a look at um, maybe the part of the data that's in this uh, first part of the section here so I'm just going to highlight a little region in the data um, and so that, that first section, and I would like to know what's the average force uh, during that section. So I'm going to go up to Analyze and go to Statistics and go to Force. And what happens here is if I look at my mean force for that part of the collection, I get uh, 193 newtons uh, for that initial um, part of the, uh, the collection there. Now what I'll do next is I'll go and uh, turn that off again. And I want to go back and analyze maybe this last part of the graph. And so I'll highlight a region there and uh, close to the end. Um, and I can go back, do the stats again. And this time I end up with a mean force of 125.8 newtons. So at that point, my grip strength is not as strong as it was before. I did the first run uh, by squeezing this with my hand. Uh, I would like to do another run, and this time I'm actually going to look at the grip strength of individual fingers. So I just need to um, store that first run and be able to collect again. To uh, store this run, I might want to refer back to it later, I can go up and just tap on the filing cabinet there, and that uh, will store the first run. Now I am ready to collect, so I press the collect button again. And I'll let it run there for a few seconds without squeezing. And then what I will do is squeeze in turn. So I'll start with my 
index finger. Let's squeeze there for a few seconds and then let go. Squeeze again with my middle finger. Squeeze there, let go. Go to my ring finger. Keep squeezing a little bit there. And then lastly, my pinky. Go for a few more seconds. Then let go and I can either just let it run out or I could stop collection. And now we have the data on the screen. So now uh, I have my individual runs there and I might be interested in looking at the data for different parts. So maybe I want the average uh, force applied uh, by each finger uh, during that time period. So what I can do is I could come in here and uh, highlight this region of the graph and uh, if I go up now and do analyze I could go and uh, do the stats and get the mean force uh, for that finger would be 72.8 newtons um, um, for my uh, pointer finger there. Um, if I wanted to do the other ones I would go here and um, turn off the stats there and then I can come over here and I can tap and drag over that finger and go and do the stats again and for this one I end up with 39.9 for my mean and I could continue to do this for the rest of the fingers. The uh, hand dynamometer is for measuring grip strength. Uh, I found that it is a sensor that uh, students engage with uh, very readily. Uh, they enjoy using it because they see that instant feedback with the data. Uh, it naturally lends itself to maybe a little uh, classroom competition there. So you could uh, plug in more than one of these at a time and compare grip strengths. Uh, obviously do uh, the comparison of right and left hand, non, you know, dominant, non-dominant, maybe an athlete versus a non-athlete. Um, and uh, so um, you know, for engaging students, it is a wonderful sensor.